hello guys so welcome back and hopefully this will be the final part of our video because i don't we don't want it to be like super uh super long now you know we we've, we've created these uh instances and we could actually change values right we can change those values so uh remember the speak method by default if we look at our uh, golden retriever class we said it's woof right so each time we run the uh instance of the uh, golden retriever now uh, let's just see uh, okay rambo so let's just uh yeah let's just print rambo uh let's get rid of corgi all right so let's just say uh changing values in our changing default values in our objects all right so we're going to change those default values so now what we're going to do is just say uh, print like so we have rambo an instance and we have a bark method right and remember rambo is an instance of the golden retriever and the golden retriever we have a uh, speak method ah i'm using actually speak here hmm i'm using speak i should change these to bark and we shouldn't have a problem so let's just say uh bark and uh, bark yeah, that's uh, okay. Let's just go ahead and save that and run. And run it. Oh, good. So we have an end of line. Oh, oops. Sorry about that, guys, because uh, I haven't finished writing that. So, yeah, okay, we're good. So let's just see Rambo dot bark. And let's change that to uh, bow wow wow yippee yo yippee yay. Bow wow. Bow wow wow yeah so let's just go ahead and run that okay what i do now what i break oh okay all right here we go all right rambo sounds like bow wow wow but actually if we look at the uh, golden retriever what we did was say woof so we can actually call this method and change the values in our uh, object right so that actually uh, is gonna work and uh, we're not gonna have any uh, problems so another thing we could do we could check the instances right so this is just uh let's just see checking checking the class instance like those objects we've created for that let's just go ahead and drop this down like that so so uh, what we can do right now, we can check if uh, a certain object is of a uh, species, right? And remember, we created this guy right here. This species, the Canis uh, lupus familiaris. You know, are you familiar with Canis lupus? You little lupus. So Canis lupus familiaris. And so what we can do right now is to check if a, part a particular you know species is of that uh, instance. So let's just say print. And what we're going to do, since we have Rambo, Snoop, and Corgi, we'll just check out uh, them. I kind of like Corgi. So I'm just going to say, uh, do the pretty print. And uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's just say, Corgi is, oh, let's not do it this way. Let's just say, I'll just go ahead. What the heck? So let's just see Corgi. Corgi is of species. So just see Rambo dot species. Did I use single S or uh, let's just go ahead and quickly look at that because I don't want to run into errors. So check species. Uh, I use species with S in the ending. Right. So, Scorgi is of species Canis lupus familiaris. Right? So, I just typed rambo.species just to get this 
So you can see this is actually going to be possible to do that for all the instances we create. Now, how can we check whether if it's an instance of a class, right? So we can use the is instance method. So let's just see using the is instance method. You can use the ins instance method to check. So let's just see print and we're going to check if our cute little puppy corgi is an instance of the dog class. So you can say is cute cuddly little cool nice doggo. Actually you don't have to actually do this, that's like too much. You can just check it and just uh, type it. And then it's a question we're asking. Is cute cuddly little cool nice doggo I forgot the last O. It would be awesome if we add that last O. Yeah. Nice doggo of the dog class. All right, so we're asking, and then what we're going to do right now is to pass in the is, is instance, and then we'll just put the dog. All right. So we're going to check to see if the object we created for the corgi class is an instance of the uh, dog class and it should return a boolean value whoops it says uh, type error ex expected two arguments got one that's because we need to pass in the name of the instance then the name of the class i didn't do that so i should pass in the name of the instance which is the object right here i'm just going to say corgi whoops all right so uh, I was actually trying to copy and paste and it didn't work. <laughs> I can't cheat now. So let's see that. Yeah, it's cute, cuddly, little, cool, nice doggo of the dog class. True. Yes, it is. The, the cute doggo is a, an instance of the dog class. Hmm, that's super true. So let's see if it is actually an instance of the... Since these are all inherited, let's try golden retrieval. Let's just try and ask it. If Corgi is an instance of the dog, um, of the uh, Golden Retriever class, and let's just see what happens when we do that. And it says no, it's not an instance of the Corgi Receiver class because it's an instance of the dog class, right? The Corgi Retriever class has its own instance. So uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, hopefully you've had a basic understanding of what object-oriented program is. And with that, I'll see you in the next lesson. And maybe we can try cats this time around. I don't really like cats. I'm a dog person. Okay, guys, but, but cats are cute. All right, dog guys. See you next time.